So think of them kind of like drill instructors for PD. Um, yeah. And they're not like marine drill instructors who just yell their head off at you for no reason and so stuff like that. But they are going to be kind of like drill instructors for PD, and they're going to be teaching you all these systems and all these things specific. Welcome to the jungle. about that when it gets there. Uh, I saw a question about aviation earlier. That's an entire different topic. There's a global aviation going to be added into NY eventually. Global aviation is just going to be aviation group where people from, um, I can go, he can explain this better. <laughs> Let me tell you, I can tell you all about this. So it's pretty much just going to be a culmination of uh, like a few people from each division that are um, like uh, flight certified or helicopter certified so they can pretty much do uh, the jobs of their division and like the forms of aviation so PD for example they'll have the uh, the helicopters that'll go and help pursue stuff like that FD will have or EMS will have like uh, helicopters to pick people up and fly them to the hospital just things like that so Rather than having a bunch of people just driving around in a Game Pass helicopter, it's not going to be like that. Each one will have their own helicopter too, with its own features, such as a uh, like a lift for like EMS and PD having spotlights and stuff like that. So you won't need a Game Pass for this one either. This is going all going to be just for people in the group, and then the high class pass will just be locked for the visitors and citizens. So yeah. So. If you guys have any questions regarding uh, Cadet Academy uniforms and what's going to be worn, how it's going to work, anything like that, say it now before the meeting's over because we're going to be leaving soon. But yeah, also, uh, we're probably going to do more of these as well. Sorry. Uh, we're yeah. probably going to do more of these, like the meeting things, when we start to get the thing uh, straightened out a little more. Um, and when the project uh, gets more finished, I guess, because it's still in the works. So if we do change something, we'll let everyone know if. Uh, like as we get closer to the release date, we'll keep giving you guys warnings just so you guys know that your ranks will be scrapped, so you're not sitting there like, "Oh my god, what happened to my rank?" So yeah, yeah we're gonna be hosting um, them in game. We're gonna be group shouting it like crazy. We're gonna be doing a lot, and there's still gonna be people who log on and say, "Oh, where my rank go?" But you know that's gonna happen. Uh, NYSO, you guys asked about NYSO. So here's the case of the NYSO. Uh, people started talking about like, how it's being added and things like that. It's not being added. Like as of right now, there's it's not coming back. There's Kinko. He said to I can Felix, explain if you want. Yes, I I got this. He said okay. to Felix in, in DMs that if NY ever gets to the case where it is so big that PD cannot cover all of NY, then maybe NYSO would be considered being added. But that's like a 0.0001% chance of happening because NY is never going to be so big that PD can't cover it. PD pretty much, you know, they cover NY just as just as well right now. <laughs> just yeah. as well right now. And things that are added into NY as of right now are different parts, like different divisions and stuff like that. So I know NYNG may eventually be added and things like that, all that stuff. And so once that stuff is added and things like that, which, you know, obviously there's going to be more stuff, parts to it. But NYNG will be covering what they cover. DHS will cover what they cover. Everyone will cover what they cover. So PD actually patrolling the entire city is not going to be an issue. So NYSO is not going to be a thing as of right now. There's no, there's like a 0.0001% chance of it being added. Yeah. The whole idea behind NYSO be added, anyways, the whole idea behind NYSO anyways was sort of just like, oh, it's just like a more elite version of NYPD. And with the reforms of PD coming, that's not going to be the case at all, just simply due to the fact that PD is going to be in a much better state when this is done. So using that as like a, a, like a defense for bringing back NYSO, it's not going to work. Park Rangers, um, I'm pretty sure that that was just Ace just being stupid, but <laughs> I'm just, that's the truth. <laughs> that's just Ace just being stupid. <laughs> uh. That to not be on the PD team and then go civilian team and strat random killing because what in the actual is that that is corruption at its finest. Oh yeah, okay. I'm seeing this a lot lately. A lot of people want us to make it so if you are the person that goes around random killing committing crimes, it 
bars you from joining groups. A lot of people want that. For example, say you're in ESU and you go on the visitors team and start killing people. A lot of people think those people should just be kicked out of ESU. Uh, all I have to say to that is it's just up to the director, really. If they don't want you in their group because they're just like killing a bunch of people over and over, I mean, it's up to them if they want to kick you or not. I personally wouldn't mind having it like that for every single group, but I don't want to force it on all the groups because that's just like, I don't know. I don't want to like make people do something that like, like, I don't know. But so, yeah. Here's my opinion on that. There's a difference between having fun on visitor team every once in a while and actually doing it continuously over and over and over for no reason. Yeah. Like, so say one day you just want to go around and visit a team and do whatever the heck you want. That's a, that's, that's a different story. Whereas if you're on every single day doing the same thing every single day that that's you know obviously continuing. it gets to the point where it's just annoying like yeah where you just keep getting killed by the same person over and over and over to the point where you just don't even want to be in that server anymore because you're just like you just stand there and wait for them to come back for you constantly exactly and that's when admins come in and they usually ban people or arrest them for fifty thousand seconds guantanamo heck yeah heck yeah yeah so if you guys have any like questions about cadet academy and stuff like that our training is going to get more strict after these reforms. It's yes, trainings will be a lot more strict, but like Hinko said, there's going to be a lot more uh, work done in the actual city than there will be, um, you know, training-wise that we have them right now. Because right now it's like go to a camp and get promoted because, yeah. you know, that's just how it is. Whereas Cadet Academy, there will be stages, there will be strict guidelines that you will follow, and there will be no difference between a training from one HR and a training of another HR. They will, they will, they will be following the same guideline, or they will be fired. Um, and so being promoted is like, I'm sure there will be trainings here and there, but I think it's going to be more in the city and how active you are and how helpful you are and, you know, things like that. So um, Yeah, it's good conduct and things like that. Like after Cadet Academy, after you graduate through that it's pretty much going to be based on how well you do as an officer so if you're helping people even in the discord if you're helping people in the discord and you're a police officer constantly like, answering questions if you're doing like ride-alongs with other people new people especially uh, if you're in the city actually putting a lot of effort like uh, towards what you're doing that's going to be what earns you promotions and stuff like that exactly. so it's not going to be like because right now you could literally not go into the city once and go to five trainings and get to like a detective or something which is really scuffed for trainings and that's not going to be the case because it's not going to be based off that anymore mine was cool um so you saying a lot of hard work just to be demoted demoted i'm going to say something right now uh i don't mean to be rude towards my hrs but if i go on a training on an alt and go i, I can afk it and i'll be promoted that's how easy trainings are right now most and people who consider hard work it's just a lot of time. Like it's not hard work. It's just it's time not hard that you put all. effort. Like, it's time you've put into it, which I mean uh combat uh combat no, it shouldn't affect your chances of being promoted. But everyone will go over the same combat techniques in through Cadet Academy. So once you're a police officer, you will know everything that you need to know to successfully be a good police academy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know everything that you need to know to be a good police officer. So everything that you need to know to actually carry out your job will be covered in Cadet Academy. And so whenever you actually become a police officer, that's whenever you use it. Being promoted, think of it like this. We have specific numbers that are going to be for each rank. And we're going to fill up those numbers. There's, you don't have to be promoted. And, uh, you know, it's, we're not just going to promote you because, hey, we've, we, you know, we want to promote you. So that's not what's going to happen. You're going to work your way. So if you want to be promoted, you need to show in that you're – you need to show me that you're one, you have the potential of being promoted Two, you're a good leader and you're not going to screw everyone off who wants to talk to you. And three, that you're actually willing to put in that work and efforts to become a leader or a leader, a uh, higher rank to be promoted. Cause I'm not just going to promote you because, Hey, I feel nice today. That's not going to happen anymore. Um, so if you guys want a rank, you guys actually have to work for it. Um, but yeah, also uh, regarding the ranks, I think I talked about it earlier, but each rank having its own specific role in the city, uh, that'll probably have some sort of uh, classes slash like requirements behind it. Like say you're going to be detective, you have to have some sort of requirements to actually mm -hmm. get that rank. Like maybe if you have like 50 arrests and you're trying to get to detective, if you have over 50 arrests, then it'll you'll just say no, stuff like that. I think that will really kind of like uh, background checks so yeah, exactly. if we know 
and have proof that you're someone who just likes to shoot people up and abuse and stuff like that in the city. We're just going to deny you. If we know that you're someone who likes to cause trouble in the discourse specifically, we're going to deny you. And a part of Cadet Academy is in order to graduate Cadet Academy, you have to be in the discourse because there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the discord that is really important that people who aren't in the discord don't know about. So there's new rules implemented and maybe it's not shouted in the group. People start getting in trouble in PD because they never knew about it. So a part of Cadet Academy is you will have to be in the discord in order to graduate. Um, and that will be uh, helpful. Uh, the rank after cadet, uh, after cadet, you'll be a recruit officer. So that's basically going to be the first rank that you can actually go on the team after you've graduated from cadet academy. Um, and yes, everyone is being demoted. Uh, unless you're in HR, everyone will be demoted to cadet once this uh, is implemented. Um, how many captains, lieutenants, and sergeants do you think there will be? Um, so everyone, including captains, is going to be demoted. Uh, but I'm thinking that once we start filling in the numbers, there'll be maybe 50 captains, somewhere around there. Uh, and, you know, lieutenants, maybe more than that, obviously. Lieutenants, maybe 70. Don't touch my rank. Yeah, I mean, say say you're like a captain, though. Say we, say we have like 50 captains, yada, yada, yada. Say that's like the max number. Say you're a captain. If you're a captain and you're never on, I mean, you're never actually doing stuff, you'll probably just get demoted down to, like, a police officer or something like that. Just because mm -hmm. I don't want the uh, higher or the middle ranks to actually be inactive. Because they're actually going to be important in some sense. So. Exactly. HRs, um, how do I describe it? I can compare it. I can compare HRs and HCOM. Uh, think of it like the uh, military. But it's not going to be at all like the military. It's going to be, like, PD, but military they have enlisted and they have officers. Enlisted are people who actually like go out and actually do stuff. So uh, in the army, enlisted are people like infantry. They go out and shoot stuff up. In the navy, there are people who like go on boats and actually go f fulfill missions. Through the officers, scrub the deck. Yeah, <laughs> scrub the deck. Uh, officers are the ones who control these missions. They're the one who send people out. So officers' job is like to manage everything. Think of HRs and HCOM like an officer. They'll be the ones putting together all these systems, uh, enforcing these systems, things like that. They'll be like, hey, you, go do this. Um, while enlisted is kind of like um, MRs and LRs. MRs, they're going to be patrol patrolling a lot more than HRs. HRs are obviously going to be patrolling a lot, but MRs and LRs are going to be doing a lot more in the city and stuff like that, versus HRs are going to be lot doing a lot more background keeping PD running. That's how uh, you want to think of it. I'm not saying HRs aren't allowed to patrol in the city. They are, of course, allowed to patrol in the city and keep everything in check. But that's kind of how you think of it. About Honestly, Ash, apps could probably go into Cadet Academy more as like a test. If, if we took everything that's asked in those three applications, shrunk them down into one big test, rearranged some things, changed some things, that could honestly be a pretty good test at some point that they need to pass to actually get out of Cadet Academy. Yes, there's obviously going to be a series of tests um, in Cadet Academy that you have to pass. And by pass, Sponge I mean... that's disgusting. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... Uh, by passing, either you cannot pass the stage unless you get every single question right, or you cannot, uh, what should we call it? You'll be held to some standard regardless. Yeah. You'll be, yeah. Uh, who will be patrolling the city if everyone except HRs get demoted? Pretty much all the other divisions, ESU, DHS, they'll be, like, being in charge of that stuff until we get some people. We can give ESU the ability to do, like, having stuff they want. Because PD is going to be uh, gone. Um, PD HRs find their job stressful. So that's uh, a part of being in HR, obviously. You're going to be asked to do a lot more and stuff like that. And if you find it stressful uh, to the point that you don't want to do it anymore, then just tell me and retire. Because honestly, um, I don't know what to say about that. You know, obviously there's stress and you can obviously take breaks. But if it's so stressful that we just don't want to do anything to PD at all, than just retire and things like that. I'm not yeah. thinking, I, I, it's not like I'm going to keep the number of HRs that I have now whenever it comes to Cadet Academy. Like I said, there will be 20 to 25 HRs hired and specifically assigned to deal with Cadet Academy, trained to deal with Cadet Academy. So think of them um, kind of like drill instructors for PD. Um, yeah. 
and they're not like marine drill instructors who just yell their head off at you for no reason and so stuff like that but they are going to be kind of like drill instructors for pd and they're going to be teaching you all these systems and all these things specifically for cadet academy only they cannot um they can patrol in the city they're they are considered an hr but their main job is cadet academy so they will keep cadet academy running they will keep it uh the systems running they'll update the systems and things like that it's not going to be a different group it's just going to be specific hr is designed for Cadet Academy. And then there's going to be other HRs designed for um, like MRs and, you know, dealing with people who have already passed Cadet Academy. So there's going to be a lot more um, HRs and this shouldn't be too terribly stressful just as long as like you guys communicate and you guys actually act like you're an HR and not some MR that was just promoted. Yeah, to be fair right now, HRs don't really even do enough in my opinion. Like, yeah, they have like the eight trainings a month, but if you think about eight trainings a month, like it's really nothing. It should be almost double that in my opinion. But uh, when it comes to doing other things other than trainings, HRs really don't do much of anything other than mass patrols, which usually you just send people out and do this, do that. Yep. So you might have more to do with this, but remember, you're not gonna have to do a bunch of like trainings like you would now. It's gonna be Cadet Academy and pretty much uh, organizing and running patrols with uh, the other officers so it's yeah. not going to be trained you yeah you'll still do them once in a while but it's not going to be near eight a month at all unless you obviously choose like to like maybe do that and private training could be one thing like if you want to get together like every friday and get a bunch of people together to just go over random stuff then i think that would be good i mean it won't hurt but yeah and, um... that's just HCOM, they will, I am thinking they'll also have the authority to call inspections whenever they feel like it's needed. Inspections are, you get everyone, like you get as many people on a server as you can uh, at random times. There's no warning for inspections. You just say inspections now and PD, uh, especially MRs, are expected to come to these inspections and form up in divisionals with their uniforms on and keep everything in check. Now this, in, in inspections, we can ask you random questions about knowledge. So let's say, uh, if HRA stop, you, they can ask you any question they want about being a police officer. And if you can't answer it correctly, you're risking your rank. So basically, you need to know what you're doing as a, as a police officer. And inspections will keep you in check, keep your uniform in check, and all this different stuff. Um, by inspections, I'm not saying like NYNG is inspections where they just check your uniform. I'm talking about your knowledge. And this will keep PD working together and things like that. And it's not going to be an everyday thing. It's just going to be like every once in a while. Um, officers be, will be monitored regularly in the city. There will be, as I said, MR's job will basically to be uh, take control of situations and be able to, um, you know, report the situations that have more experience. So they'll be able to command situations and be able to run them smoothly and oversee them as supervisors. Uh, MR's because HR's aren't always on, and MR's that will be a good job. I was on yesterday. I see a captain driving recklessly driving. I pulled him over and asked them. Response is my brother's account. I don't believe. Uh, you can let whoever. Uh, I don't care who you let on your account. Uh, you can let your grandmother or your baby brother on your account. I don't care. But that is your responsibility. So if your brother does something really stupid and gets you in trouble, I don't care if it was your brother who did that. You let him on your computer or your account, and that's your job. So if you get fired because your brother screwed something up for you, that's your fault or your sister, or anyone like that. That's your fault, you know? Uh, so just be careful who you let on your computer. Patrol logs won't be a thing. It'll be insane to log <laughs> patrols of a 31K group. Um, ranks will be changing uh, once Cadet Academy comes out. As I said, everyone will be demoted to Cadet uh, since our arrest count. Uh, that was an example, so arrests, that was just an example. So if you have like an insane amount of arrests and things like that, then we will not, we will definitely consider not, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? Not hiring you guys, not allowing you to rank up from where you are. Uh, yes, I will be filling in the empty HCOM ranks before this. Uh, but the issue with HCOM right now is, as Kinko said, the HRs just kind of slack off and there's no way for me to see which HRs are good, which HRs are 
bad and which HRs aren't strict. I'm wanting people who are professional on the job, who know what they're doing, who I can ask any question at any time and they'll answer it for me, like uh, about being a police officer, who is a good leader, so knows how to get people to cooperate with them and things like that, and not just yell their heads off at them and expect them to do things, and who uh, is active, of course. So that's what that's the kind of people I want in my HCOM. So that's the kind of person I want for my deputy uh, commissioner, which I will be uh, hiring a new deputy commissioner and for my chief of department, which I need to fill in. But right now, no HR has stood out for me in reality. Uh, let's see. Can you give us an example of a test? Uh, an example of a test. Um, so let's say Cadet Academy is going to have stages. So let's say for uh, stage one, you're learning about uh, tactics and gun usage and taser usage. So a test would be testing you specifically on what you've learned about as you go out through Cadet, Cadet Academy. Uh, think of them as quizzes. So let's say you just learned uh, about tasers and how to, when to use your tasers and use the force and things like that. So you'll have a test specifically about tasers on what to use and all that, a quiz I should say. And then at the end of Cadet Academy, before you graduate, you will have one test with everything that you learned about at Cadet Academy and you'll have to take that test and complete it and uh, all that. Heck so yeah. that's like kind of an example of a test. Yeah, the gamer actually brings up a point. Uh, right now, obviously the tools are restricted at lower ranks just to curve like people joining the group and not knowing what the heck they're doing, shooting people, tasing people. Uh, with this, because Everything relating to guns is going to be taught in Cadet Academy as well. So as soon as you get out of Cadet, a Cadet Academy and you can go and patrol in the city, you'll be giving, uh, like pretty much, like gear to do whatever everything you need to do. So it's not going to be a way you're not going to buy anything. You'll just be issued in the PD. Uh, former gang members that have like 100% change to where they actually want to do good in NY will have a chance in NYPD. I'm not uh, a division that has a strict member count that has uh, strict members in it. NYPD is not that type of division. So if you've 100% changed, then yes, you will have a chance in PD. But if you go back to being some guy who sues people off as a gang member, then I will fire you just like that. HRs will fire you just like that. Uh, you know, I don't mind doing that. Let's see, when cadets graduate, and achieve the next rank, will they be given all the tools? Yes, they will be given all the tools because a part of Cadet Academy is you will learn how to use every tool, you will know how to use every tool, and you will know how to do stuff and do like that. So after you graduate Cadet Academy, you should know how to be a, a, a police officer, basically. So you should know how to do everything. So you should be able to handle all the tools. Um, yeah. As a recruit officer, like I said, you'll just you'll get Glocks, Tasers, you'll get the, all the police officer stuff, um, but obviously, if you abuse it, you'll be demoted back to under cadet because you didn't learn anything. Right. Um, will the ranks add up? Could you rephrase that? I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, the how many training will there be? Cadet Academy will be a continuous thing. It'll, it probably won't shut down because we have so many people that join daily and we have so many cadets. So Cadet Academy will always be running unless we have like zero cadets. And in that case, it's probably never going to happen because as of right now, there's a bunch of cadets and joining and things like that. Um, yeah, there's like four pages uh, that get accepted each day, and that's probably not going to change, especially when it gets into a state that's a lot better. I mean, yeah, they're going to have more to do when they join the group, but not only are they going to have more to do, I think it's going to be a lot more uh, entertaining rather than just like a normal training, doing normal things. It's going to be a, a lot better in my opinion. Uh, yeah, Ethan, we're kind of like, like I know FD did it, DOT did it, uh, I think, well, DHS kind of did it, but they sort of have had it the entire time where they filter out the bad people before they actually get in the group. So this is what that's going to do. And yeah. I, I know, like, DOC has an academy, but I don't know. They're kind of waiting for, like, city to get updated. <laughs> city <laughs> And, you know, like I said, this isn't uh, DHS or FBI where there's a specific number count, like 100 people or something like that, where you know every person and you know if they're active or not. This is a th like 31,000 people group and so which is why it's just so much easier to just start over from the beginning because I don't know every one of you guys I don't know 31,000 people um, <laughs> obviously so doing this is just a lot easier and maintaining the group it's a lot harder so doing these huge things like this is going to help the group out a lot uh, recruits will get a citation book that's part of all the tools that they get um, are we at war with Mano County I don't believe we were ever at war with them really we were just making fun of them and things like that uh, whenever at war. 
uh, what would happen if a sergeant lieutenant or captain got a warrant? If a sergeant lieutenant or captain got a warrant, they will be uh, relieved from their duties as a MR. Because I don't want, that, like I said, you got a warrant because you did something bad enough and continuously enough to receive the warrant in the first place. Uh, captains will be demoted. They are part of the demotion process. They will become a cadet once it starts. Um, BS ranks will restart, Victor. That everyone will be demoted to cadet. Uh, rank procedure add up. Yes, it will. There will be cadets, uh, recruits, um, a probationary officer, a police officer. It'll still go in the same order as it was originally. It'll just be harder to achieve some ranks as what it was before. What was the reason of that? Victor, the reason why that we are demoting everyone to cadet is it's just too hard to go through all the ranks and keep good people and not, and it's best to just go through Cadet Academy and know what we ex expect from you from now on. Uh, I don't care if I know you, you could be my best friend and you could be a captain, you're still going to get demoted to cadet. Because um, that's just how it is. I'm not going to treat anyone with special, you, your, your rank is what you are and you will be treated as everyone else that is your rank. Uh, yeah, there will be, obviously, as I said before, Bailey, that crime is an issue in NY as of right now, and I don't think that there will be a huge difference between PD being online and PD not being online, because PD right now just conducts their job poorly. Um, there's no effort put into their job, uh, and, you know, if PD's offline, obviously, ESU and DHS will be in charge of the city then, and they'll be in the city and stuff like that while PD is doing their thing. Uh, let's see. Putting someone on probation, that's like, uh, it's just, probation is kind of like monitoring them because, like, you're still iffy of whether they're, they're able to pass or not. Um, so putting someone on probation is just like, hey, you know, I've seen this person doing this, and HRs will be discussing this. So if HR sees someone acting up and things like that, they're going to say, I don't know about this person. It's kind of iffy. Let's watch them. And if we decide that they are guilty of doing things that, they're, that they shouldn't be doing at their rank, then they will be demoted. Um, Bailey, we plan on this happening. We want Cadet Academy, like the actual building, to be done before May, meaning that we want the system to be done in about two months. So hopefully in about two months, we'll have the system done, we'll have HRs hired, and we'll be ready to roll this out. Let's see. So I know some people don't be bad, but I'm not going to go through every single person and say, this person's good, this person's bad. As I said, I do not know 31,000 people. I do not know every single person in PD. I do not know who is good and who is bad, which is, part, which is pretty much why I'm devoting everyone to cadet. I don't know who's good. I don't know who's bad. Uh, and plus, there's going to be new regulations, new standards, and uh, new, new rules that you guys have to follow. So going through Cadet Academy, you will know what we expect from you from now on. We're going to be a lot more strict uh, with PD. And so once you graduate from Cadet Academy, um, you know, it's obviously going to be something that's serious now. Like, hey, these people stepped up their game and you need yeah. to do what you need to do or <laughs> you'll be fired. Uh, yeah, spies me, uh... MIC. I don't need to do that. I have HRs. HRs have alts. Uh, I don't need to hire like some, uh, what do you call it, bounty hunter or something like that to go track people down. Mm -hmm. I have HRs for that. They can get on their alts. They can go in NYC anytime they want. Or, or they can patrol NY and just, you know, whatever they see, they see, and they'll take action according to what they see. Uh, BS Scout, like I said, I don't care if you're my best friend and you're a captain, you're still going to be demoted. <laughs> uh, patrol logs, uh, I mentioned this earlier, patrol logs will not be a thing. Um, maybe for HRs, but I'm not going to make 31,000 people do a patrol log. Uh, Cadet Academy... I also mentioned this earlier. Um, it should take the process of it maybe one to two weeks. I'm not entirely sure yet. We don't have the system finalized, uh, but we're still working on the system and how it's going to work. And once we have that done, we'll have the HRs go through it. And uh, it'll always be running. Uh, so I don't, last LEST, um, I never linked LEST up with FBI or NYPD. So none of the divisions that I lead are linked up with LEST. So I don't really care if you're in LEST. Congratulations. That's for other divisions, not for PD. Um, and if you're in ESU, uh, once again, congratulations. You're still going to have to go through Cadet Academy. Um, Heck yeah. Anti exploits. <laughs> Why is he asking you? <laughs> I, I, uh, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure there's systems implemented right now, anti-exploit systems, uh, like FA, that's what I think it's called. FE. FE, thank you. Uh, <laughs> in the city, <laughs> shut up. I'm not some professional developer, obviously. But <laughs> there's like, I'm pretty sure there's exploits right now because Kiko broke some stuff. Congratulations, Kiko. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I actually did. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, you round of applause there. <laughs> Cadets will have trainings. Um... Victor, rephrase your question. Like, cadets will have training, so how can the HR determine who will be approved? What are you trying to say there? Uh, let's see. What you make? Okay, the chicken you lured. Okay, you have to understand. If you're a PD, you have to follow some sort of use of force. But you can't just pull out your gun and aim it at someone that walks up behind you. Okay. Say you, there's a traffic stop in front of you, and you're just walking down the sidewalk with a shotgun or whatever. Nothing it's stops you from walking up to them and shooting them and walking away. Right. They're, do, they're talking to some guy in a car or on the sidewalk doing their own thing. If you're just going to come by and kill them for no reason at all but simply just to kill them, then yeah, that is ruining RP. And if you're going to do that, then you can expect to get either banned or uh, arrested. Yeah. And if you don't like it, then that's on you, but that's how it is. It's a game. We have to do things to make the game... Uh, well, yeah, I know there's a lot of hitmen. If they want to spend their money on that, then that's on them. And plus there's bounty. If you're going to go around killing people, you're going to have to pay off the bounty you get or get arrested so it doesn't really matter um the gamer uh let's see a new discord uh will not be made for nypd nypd is a part of the official nyc but a new discord will be made specifically for cadet academy because i don't want to be tagging everyone in pd who've already graduated from cadet academy so there will be a discord for cadet academy um once i have that up and running uh, we actually ha have the Discord created now, but we're not opening that up yet because Cadet Academy isn't running right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cadet Academy uh, will definitely not be an application. Applications, you know, obviously, as we've experienced, as our current MRs are trash and a crappy way to hire people. Cadet Academy will be a series of trainings um, and HR supervising you at all times. You'll be learning things, and you can't AFK these trainings because... I'm pretty sure what we're, I have a cough drop, sorry. I'm pretty sure what we're going to do is we're going to have a command that you can run. It's an activity command, and it tests your activity. So if you try to AFK a training, uh, it, you'll be kids because activity command, what it does is it'll give you a GUI on your screen, and you'll have 10 seconds to click something. And if you don't click it in 10 seconds, you'll be kicked out of the game because it assumes that you're AFK. So by doing this, you cannot AFK trainings. Um, you have to actually sit there, and he cannot pass unless you pass the test. So obviously, you have to be paying attention, uh, because if you don't pass the test, then you have to restart all over again. So, yeah, yeah. how are HRs determine? Um, when it comes to H uh, HR, when it comes to Cadet Academy, drill instruct drill inspectors and inspectors are going to be the only HRs actually running Cadet Academy. Uh, obviously, people over that will be helping with systems, but they will not be in trainings and actually running trainings unless you're a supervisor such as uh, chief's office. Um, and basically, HRs determine people who pass where you go by quizzes. If you fail a quiz, then you have to retake that course. And as you go, you have to pass test by test by test. And eventually, after you pass all the tests and uh, you've been evaluated like that, you will be you you'll have to attend a graduation ceremony and that's just kind of like in an auditorium thing it's really quick um and you'll graduate and become official police officer and be ranked recruit officer in the group of my pd um short day length that's a part of role play uh if someone shoots you obviously you shoot back irl people don't walk around with a name above their head so irl you ask for id so if you pull someone over you ask to, uh, for them to present an ID to you. Um, so if you're role-playing someone, like uh, if they are open carry and things like that, but they haven't shot anything, you can pull a taser out, obviously, and request an ID and continue on to that with role-play. But that's going to be a part of something that you'll be learning in Cadet Academy is role-play because you're going to have to be role-playing a lot. You'll have to ask them to present their ID for you to actually get their name. Um, Ethan, I already said this, exams and tests are going to be a huge part of Cadet Academy. 
it'll be section by section by section. So uh, first section will be, you know, this certain thing. So for example, first section may be tasers, second section may be guns or glocks, uh, third section may be use of force, fourth section may be uh, driving rules, uh, fifth section may be code of conduct and so on. And after every section, you'll have a quiz. At the end of Cadet Academy, you'll have a test and the test includes every single section of um, what you learn throughout Cadet Academy. So the, if basically, if you do crap on a quiz, then you'll have to retake, redo that section until you pass that quiz. And if you fail a test, then you're redoing all of Cadet Academy. Uh, People are getting banned because that's like hitting the call. Sign uh, up. Let's see. Uh, for the GUI, you'll have 10 seconds because I don't want someone to AFK it, like I said. 10 seconds, and if you don't respond, you get kicked. Yep. Uh, will promotions be more common rather than... No, in fact, promotions will be a lot less common. Uh, like I said, MR will be a position that will be harder to achieve. There will be member caps for MR positions. So, for example, captains 50, lieutenant 75, sergeants 100. That's just an example. Um, not sure that will be the actual numbers or not, but uh, actually getting those positions, you'll have to actually work hard for it, show that you're actually dedicated, that you have time to do this, that you know what you're doing that you're not a crappy leader by a crappy leader means that you don't know how to lead you don't know how to take over situations you don't know how to talk to different people so if one person responds differently than another person you don't know how to change that and adapt to that and you you know if you don't know how to be a leader you're not going to get a higher position heck yeah uh my cat just got scared of the football i swear <laughs> uh if you have bad wi-fi or lag uh you know, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, that's like kind of an issue. IRL, there's not much we can really do about that. I mean, regarding the training places crashing, that was the admin uh, mm -hmm. donors causing it to crash. But to be fair, if um, if you crash every single time you're in a game, then you probably shouldn't really be like doing much in that game anyways. Like, if you're crashing every 10 minutes in NY, there's not really much you can even do in NY that's worth the time to even play the game. No offense, but you'll need to, like, check out your uh, your internet if that's the case because that's kind of scuff or you have, like, some virus on your computer causing it to disconnect you. But Airplanes uh, won't be added to NY. That'll, it's not... Aloha snack bar. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, we have helicopters, and Kinko discussed global aviation earlier. If you weren't here, then just wait till we have another meeting for that. Heck yeah. Uh, will HR's apps be available in the App Center? No, HR's, you do not uh, achieve the rank of HR through an application. That is probably the dumbest idea I can think about. Obviously, it did not work with MRs, and it did not work with HR's. Um, HR, to achieve the rank of HR, is whenever I need more HR's, I'll open HRA and do HRA through that and you can become an HR through that. Uh, depending on how it is set up, if the trainer brings people. Uh, BS Scout, the, like I said, the command is run, ran through everyone. So it'll be maybe, the command will be colon uh, activity, or I don't know, whatever, whatever the person decides to name it. And once you run that command, a GUI will pop up on your screen, uh, no matter where you are, if you're TP, if you're, uh, stuck in a frozen thing, no matter where you're at, a GUI will be on your screen and it will give you 10 seconds to click OK if, or whatever it wants you to click. If you don't click whatever it wants you to click in 10 seconds, you'll be kicked because you're AFK. Um, so it doesn't matter what happens to you, the GUI will still be there and you can still click it. Or unless your mouse is broken, then don't try it then, I guess. Um... Bailey, um, first, uh, I don't know, mind. This is something else. Where can I sign up for aviation? Uh, aviation isn't official yet. Uh, Kinko was discussing it earlier. Aviation is pretty much just, uh, it's going to be global aviation, so it'll be one group for every division, and it'll have people from, uh, certain divisions. So let's say I'm in ESU. Uh, I can, if my, you know, HRs or commander approves it, uh, I can apply for global aviation. And this is basically a series of trainings, learning how to become a pilot. And your job will kind of like just be f flying people around and things like that. 
And so Global Aviation is going to be something that Kinko will be running. Kinko Cat will be the commanding yeah. officer of Aviation. It'll be, excuse me, it'll be the best group ever. Yep. Kinko will be running it. Uh, Kinko, your mic sounds staticky. Oh, shoot. Uh, so, okay. yes, yeah, better. <laughs> So, yeah, Global Aviation will be that thing, but that's not regarding PD, um, and so that's an entirely different topic. It's a good topic, but it's a different in one. In Cadet Academy, uh, promotions will be very common in Cadet Academy. Re achieving recruit officer is something that you have to be willing to do. You're not just going to be given it. Uh, so, if you're actually willing to go through Cadet Academy, if you're willing to pay attention in trainings and take notes, whatever you need to take notes at, then once you get the quizzes, pass the quizzes and pass the tests, then you'll be fine. You'll achieve recruit officer just fine if you're actually dedicated to it. Uh, same thing with our in, in real life. You know, if you want to become a police officer, you're going to go through an academy. You're going to graduate from that academy, and you're just going to become, uh, you know, you'll become a police officer. Anything uh, regarding I, helicopters, uh, Elwood, is going to be uh, global aviation. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Uh, first of all, I do not play Mayflower, I do not play Firestone, I do not play Mano County, anything like that, so whenever you guys refer to Mayflower LEST or Firestone or anything like that, I don't know how they run. I'm making the system up entirely with what I have experienced is best, what I have uh, seen is like what works best with the group. So I go in the city, I see how people respond, I make systems based off how, what works best for NY. So. This cadet academy is what I think will work best for NY, and people will adapt to be easier. I do not know how all the other PD groups run. I'm not copying from them. I'm doing. I'm freestyling this basically. Um, is group space needed? Obviously, if you're not in PD, you're not going to be able to go through cadet academy. Just like trainings, if you're not in PD, you can't join the training. So yes, you'll have to have a space for NYPD if you're not already in it. Um, you can't go through the process without being in the group. Uh, let's see any other questions here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. Will it be a police explorer program? Uh, Ryder, you mind rephrasing that? I do not know what you mean by a police explorer. Police explorer is like, uh, some, like a program you can do before you actually go into the police academy. A lot of people do it when they're in high school and stuff like that. So um, it's it's like something you can do before an academy. I don't really think. No, there's not going to be a system like that. The academy is going to be you starting to learn about stuff. Yeah. Um, and keep in mind that I'm not trying to simulate this, you know, to real life. Obviously, this is a virtual platform. Real life is a different thing. I'm trying to get this as close as realistic to real life as I can. But there are things that are changed um, that we cannot implement from real life into here. So this isn't going to be some like real life role play where everything is exactly like it is IRL because that's impossible, almost. Um, we bend is, things. You know, we bend the rules platform. as much as we need to to uh -huh. work on like a, as you say, a virtual platform. Yep. Someone was complaining to me that police commissioners aren't technically supposed to be wearing the uniform and patrolling on duty, um, and you know that's true and all, but in you know, we obviously cannot enforce these rules and have everything realistic to real life. So I'm sorry if you're looking for some real police academy, something like that. If you're looking for that, then wait till you grow older and go apply for an actual police officer because you're not going to find that here. But we bend the rules to what fits in NY best, uh, but we do try to make it as realistic as possible. You will need to have group space for global aviation. It'll be an entirely different group. Trainings will be different. You'll be learning how to become a pilot and not how to do your job in the division that you're in. So like I said, you're gonna need uh, approval from your commander or commanding officer or your director or your HR or HCOM or whoever's in charge of you know the global aviation. You're gonna need permission for them to apply to become global aviation. Um, see ride alongs uh ride alongs will be helpful if you ride along with an hr or an mr uh you know obviously you can ride along with whoever you want and my personal opinion is it's a lot smarter for you to ride along with someone else while you're patrolling so if you're patrolling with someone else it'll be easier with you guys for you guys to deal with situations um a lot of you guys complain that pd only has a glock uh let me tell you right now 
I've I have the gun. Uh, I know what the gun is on FBI on DHS. The Glock is stronger. The only gun that's stronger than the Glock really is the sniper, the M8. Um, but the Glock it does like 50 damage, whereas everything else does like 15 to 30. Uh, Glock does 50, so that's a lot of damage there, especially if it's a headshot. So the Glock is really powerful. Um, so it's a good gun to be using. Uh, will there be new PD cars? That's up to the development uh, of NY. There's obviously a lot that Kinko is working on and a lot that you guys are requesting from Kinko. Uh, so PD cars may come, like, I don't know, may come or may not come. I wouldn't be too worried about that, though. PD cars look, work pretty well right now. Um, Ryan, PD vehicles... Cars... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I finished, pretty much finished, a new chassis, and when I say chassis, I refer to like the functionality of the vehicle. Uh, it has acceleration, deceleration, uh, parking brakes, uh, suspension, stuff like that. Uh, it's probably going to be more relevant uh, when everything is smooth terrain. Um, so the functionality that's all set, that's definitely coming regardless. Uh, as for the models, um, I know some are being made. I don't know like how many, I don't know which ones are currently being made. I know FD ones are being made. I know I've seen some like pickup trucks. So mm -hmm. I know, uh, I think it's Felix working on some nice, nice trucks for FD, I think. Um, pretty nice trucks. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's not that the Glock is more powerful. They have different ranges, different rate of fire, stuff like that. The MP5 has a higher rate of fire. It has a closer uh, bullet spread. Yeah. So you can shoot people at longer ranges. It's not like the damage may be more, but in reality, it has different uses when it comes to the other stats. My opinion, the Glock is the gun that I prefer using. Uh, I'm on FBI team. I have the MP5 but I use the Glock more so than I have the MP5 because my opinion, I can handle the Glock a lot easier than an MP5. And so shooting people, when it comes to shooting people, I can kill people a lot faster and more effective with the Glock. But you have to keep in mind, the Glock has, what, 10 bullets per mag? So like um, if your aim sucks, then I suggest using a bigger gun because, you know, <laughs> NYPD is going to have a bigger gun. But if your aim sucks, then you need to work on your aim because NYPD has a Glock and you have... Thank you, Cool Dave. You have 12 uh, bullets per mag, so. Uh, events like riots. Uh, yes, PD will be trained a little bit how to deal with riots and things like that, but I think that's going to be more of ESU's job to respond to riots and more of, uh, more I guess, elite divisions. It's going to be more of their job to do. Yeah, riots don't really happen that much anyway. So it's yeah, like, they really don't. Like usually when, when people do riots, they're, they're usually violent riots, and they just get shot down or arrested real quick, so. Um, how many tiers for cadet? Uh, like I said, Swamp, um, well, when it comes to Cadet Academy, we don't have the system entirely finalized yet, so we're still working on how the system's going to work and how we're going to keep track of who's at what stage and all this type of stuff. Um, uh, however, uh, that's kind of how you have it right now, is we're still working on how the systems are going to work, uh, and how long is going to be? It's probably not going to. Each stage is probably not going to be longer than a week, uh, maybe a week and a half or something like that. Each uh, round, I should say. Uh, anything on wearing plain clothes? Police officers, right now, wear your uniform uh, when you're patrolling. When it comes to plain clothes, the only time that when it comes to Cadet Academy, so the trainees are going to be wearing like kind of like khakis and a, a, a MIPD polo, and. Yeah, that's just going to be their training gear. They cannot wear a uniform until they've graduated from Cadet Academy. But if you are an official police officer working on behalf of NYPD, I want you to be wearing a uniform at all times. Um, like I said, IRL, there's obviously police officers, undercover police officers who wear plain clothes, but we have divisions in NY such as FBI and DHSIO that already do investigative work and things like that. So we don't need undercover officers and undercover group. If you want to go uh, kind of undercover, get an uh, undercover car and change the color to red, gray, or blue. Uh, that's the only three colors that you can use. Um, any shades of those three colors work. But if you want to kind of be undercover, then that's the way to go. Get an undercover car. I will not have a separate group for it, though. Um, Cadet Academy, like I said, I don't have all the systems up, but it's going to include everything that you need to know to be a police officer. So... Once you graduate from Cadet Academy, 
you should know how to, you know, do your job without abusing anything like that. Um, so everything that you need to know to be a police officer, that's what's going to be covered in Cadet Academy. Will more non-lethal weapons be added, like pepper spray, baton? Um, how hard will it be for people to who do not have Discord to get promoted? I mean, being active in the Discord kind of does play a lot in like how you're viewed on as the whole activity. Uh, it's only against TOS to like post discords and stuff. And it's not even against TOS, it's just against um, like saying it. That's why it's tagged out. It's an offsite link. But you can do codes for Discord. So if people join it, it's fine. And if we force them to join, we can force them all we want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, like I said, like... talking. Hi. Uh, uh, you can go. Okay. Like I said, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to graduate Cadet Academy unless you're in the Discord because the Discord is an, an important part of NYPD. Obviously a lot more stuff is announced in Discord and a lot more communication is through the Discord, uh, versus, you know, the game. Uh lethal weapons like pepper spray and battens. Uh, I don't think those are gonna be added as for there's not really a purpose. Tasers stun people and guns shoot people. I think that's all we really need. Um yeah. If someone charges at you, but they don't have a gun, to sit online for two hours each day. It's not gonna be like that either. It's gonna be more relaxing as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe on Friday there's gonna be like, like I don't know. It's maybe like say it starts on Friday. Okay, you're gonna have your first thing there. It may take like half hour, forty minutes, an hour, and then the next thing you do the next time you go might be on like Monday. So it's not going to be like every single day. There might be back-to-back -back days, but it's not going to be every single day. So I don't want people to think that like, oh, if I miss this day, I'm just I I won't have to I'll have to wait till next time. I don't want people to think that of it like that. It's not going to be like some like crazy quick schedule. It's going to be slow and it's going to it's sort of be nice and pretty. Yeah, it's going to flow like a dead fish. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, the first the first uh, cadet training. Uh, I plan on being there and kind of leading it, so that way the HRs that I have have a model, a role model of what they, you know, an example of what they should be doing. Um, and like Kinko said, it's just gonna flow. It's gonna be nice. Um, flow like what? Calm. Flow like a dead fish. Uh, it's gonna be uh, calm. And basically, if you don't care about Cadet Academy or actually receiving a rank, you will not be graduating Cadet Academy. So it's gonna be nice and smooth um dalen i'm gonna be training these 20 to 25 uh deputy inspectors and inspectors specifically like i said to cadet academy and they uh will be trained to do everything so they will be communicating to each other and they will have guidelines specific guidelines that they have to follow so whether you have a training with let's <laughs> see training whether you attend a cadet academy training with one HR and then attend the next one with another. You're still going to be doing the same thing as that HR did because they will be following strict guidelines and strictly uh, be enforcing the rules. Like 1K of people trying to join a training. Yeah, it'll be, uh, of course, when we first started up, it'll be chaos, uh, people joining the training. The servers will be full uh, very fast. And uh, uh, we may, what we may do is we may have HR different servers at once and like in the beginning but um we have enough hrs to be able to split them up into groups quite easily if there's a yeah. full server it's not going to be hard to get another server going with another hr in it it won't be yeah. hard at all uh, we that's can easily track everyone's be, like we can easily track everyone's grades and things like that on trellos and things grades. like that yep. so tracking and all that it's not hard. stage that they're at so usually how trainings are right now is someone passes you search up the name in a database and you promote them I'm thinking what we're gonna do now is once you pass the stage, your your name gets added to a stage on the Trello on a, your card. Your name gets added to a card, and the card gets added to the stage list that's on the Trello. And you can just search up the names to see if they're in that stage, they like that, and move them it's around. Like a big happy little database. Yeah, it's a big happy database. Uh, yeah. uh so that's how counters just kind of work. Will there um, be more teamwork? I hope. I, I like seeing people the, drive together and stuff. I like seeing that. Yeah. Uh, ESU, uh, before it's, you know, before all the chaos happened and the reform stuff like that, uh, 
uh, ESC, what they normally do is they patrol, like they max a car. So if there's six people on the team, they will max their car out, six people in one truck. And that's what kind of like, because anytime someone poses a threat to them and starts shooting at them, all of them just get out and just trample that person who just shot them. So like I said earlier, I think it's a good idea if you're patrolling with someone because, you know, you'll have a partner and you can both deal with you get there. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you like stab your hand or something yeah, and you can okay. deal with people easier so uh the first training like i said for cadet academy it's just going to be kind of like an example training and uh, what i mean by example training is that the hrs will be uh, hopefully i'll be i plan on me leading it and like that so i can give an example to the hrs of what i expect from them and then from there on out there'll be just trainings like crazy training 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 training, training. and you guys will if you're serious then you'll get there um let's see is this will is this will rule out <laughs> the way people teach you stuff on their own ways, which causes confusion? I I don't even know what you're saying. Ghost, could you rephrase that for Pick me? Show grammar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please do and retag me. Uh, will there be more teamwork? Um, I want more teamwork in PD. Um, uh, I encourage teamwork. You will be, teamwork is great. Yeah, things. Cadet Academy will definitely be encouraging you to get a partner when you're in the city and when you're patrolling. Uh, it's probably not going to be mandatory unless there's a supervisor on and a supervisor orders you grab a partner and go. Uh, but, you know, I, we highly, like, highly encourage you to patrol with a partner or a group. In a voice call, too. It's even better. Yeah, in a voice call, it's the best. You know, we have, we have radio patrol or, uh, you know, you can private, private DM, private call. Private call. No, private call. Yeah, you can private call your friend or you can use radio patrol and patrol, like, a huge group. Um. It would be great if, like, if you don't have friends like me, you just join Radio Patrol. Yeah, you can join Radio Patrol and, like, interact with people, you see? You can go... <sighs> All right. <laughs> uh, yes, it's going to be a, a extremely massive Trello, uh, Elwood, but there is a way that you can search uh, cards uh, through the Trello. Uh, will there be an easy promotion command for HRs? Uh, HRs or captains still have to go through HRA to become an HR if I need to hire a new HR or more HRs. Um, like I said, I'm going to have a crazy amount of HRs, uh, 20 to 25 dedicated specifically to get cadet Academy and then the rest dedicated to stuff. Uh, whole law enforcement Academy as a whole. Destrious, let me tell you, that is what cadet Academy is. You see, it's a law enforcement Academy and you learn to become a police officer and enforce the law properly. You see, and you cannot actually become a police officer until you pass the, uh, law enforcement Academy, you see, or cadet Academy, same thing. Uh, 19 letters only. Heck no. Uh. -uh. <laughs> I'm I, I'm still answering all the questions that I've tagged. Like if you tag me, your question will be answered. Will this act help get rid of trollers? Yes, it will. Um, if you're a troller and you don't care about your job, then obviously you're not going to try to achieve ranks, and you're not going to get very far in the group. And uh, HRs and MRs will be in the city constantly. If you're trolling, they'll just send evidence to an HR. HR would promote them and or suspend them permanently. Uh, supervision will definitely be some interaction with PD will be uh, a lot more frequent now. There will be, well, not now, but once Cadet Academy is released, uh, HRs will be in the city a lot more often. Uh, MRs will be in the city a lot more often. There'll be a lot more uh, going on. Do you think that there should be an English class in this Cadet Academy? No. Uh, he, school, there's something called school. Yes. <laughs> there's something called school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you attend school and pay attention to school, I'm pretty sure uh, your grammar and punctuation will be perfect. <laughs> to be honest though, most people that have bad grammar probably like don't even have English as their primary language. Like when you see someone typing yeah. really, really, really bad like ghost half the time, it's probably not their first language. Well, ghost New Zealand speaks wait, does New Zealand have they their speak own New Zealandian? <laughs> You're actually dumb. Uh Indian. Yeah, but Hello, I fix your computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, can go. Yeah, but so yeah, don't like bullying. It's not racist. Because... It's stereotypical. You can go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like how you're structuring it now to ensure that no matter what trainer you get, y'all get the same information provided. Currently, each trainer teaches stuff in different ways to others. When uh, you go to another training or something that that hosts it wrong, yet you were taught it by another trainer. So yeah, I'm excited for this. Also, when is the due date for all the trans? Positioning reforms. Uh, ghost reforms start as soon as uh, a. Uh, 
can't get anything mixed up. Reform start as soon as Cadet Academy is finished, like the building's finished, and the systems are ready to run, and the HRs are ready to run it. Um, as soon, basically, uh, probably will happen the same day. The first training for Cadet Academy and reforms will probably happen in the same day. So uh, Kinko has a bot. The bot will do his thing and uh, demote everyone to ca uh, cadets, and then the training first cadet training will be used. Used. Beep, boop, beep, done. Beep, boop, uh, it'll be an exciting moment because PD will change uh, a lot. I would say roughly um, like a month. So uh, it depends how like how Ando. Like, yeah, man, how much we need. Gets we need. Honestly, we Kinko like he's busy with other stuff in NY, and Ando is like the only like main developer who knows what the heck he's doing. So actually, getting down the building is going to be kind of difficult because I don't know what I'm doing. It's really just me and Ando working on the project, and Kinko occasionally coming in and like fixing crap that we do. Um, <laughs> cause he's like a filter, I guess. Uh, but it's been hard kind of like finishing it with two people. We have even gotten like a back end, the backside of the actual, just the building part. Cause Cadet Academy is going to be huge. It's going to be like a, a an inch, like the entrance area. It's going to be like a nice scenery. I have it planned. Uh, it's going to be a training course, uh, you know, t practice targets, things like that. And we don't even have the building done. So obviously we're trying to get there. Uh, it's gonna be hard though. Especially with Ando and different. Everyone will stuff. be updated as time gets this time we yeah. and we get closer, but this it's is gonna definitely... be complete. Civilian jobs, uh that's not I'm like I said, I'm not a huge developer in NY. I know about like developing, know what's happening in the city, I know how systems run and things like that. But when it actually comes to developing, I can't really do that right now. You see, if you want my civilian brain... jobs, just poop them to helpers. Like I wanna be yeah. able to do this in the city. Like if you wanna be a like a pizza guy, then you know just say at <laughs> Helper, I want to be a pizza guy. Previous yeah. rogues, uh, previous rogues, I'm pretty sure would have been permanently suspended. And to be honest, though, okay, I don't even know like who previously went rogue unless they're on the yeah. suspension list, and everyone that's getting suspended is going to be demoted anyways. So yeah, I mean, we can honestly just get rid of the suspended right anyways, because yeah. honestly, they should just be back in Cadet Academy if they're suspended. Or just yeah, put them well, on a trello. Um, susp suspension, is, once Cadet Academy comes out, it's going to be kind of like a probation kind of thing. Yeah. So like, hey, you've acted up here and, you know, you can't do this, but you, it's like, let's say, I don't know. You honestly didn't know what you were doing. So you accidentally shoot people and stuff like that. Then obviously you'll be suspended and say, hey, don't do this again. If you're doing it intentionally, then you're just going to be demoted to cadet or permanently, you know, just permanently like a cadet, I guess. Um, so, rogues will be allowed to go to the academy. Okay, so basically what Lion over there is doing now is she's just answering questions. Basically, what's going on is NYPD is now going through reforms. Trust me, they need it. The amount of abuse in NYC is ridiculous, but what's the problem is... Mainly, people who don't abuse, like, people who've gone up through the ranks like Captain. If they've never abused, they still need to go through the ranks again, which kind of pisses me off. Like, like I now got to, uh, do the same thing. I gotta do this. Everyone's doing this. It's kind of taking me off. Honestly. Uh, uh, wrong setting. Or maybe not. <laughs> what was that? Well, everyone, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I know today the, um, NYPD, uh, or NYPD Season 1 Episode 4 was supposed to be out today. I forgot about it. I got distracted. I ran out of time. So, yeah. Two weeks from now. So, uh... Around the timeline of the 30th, I guess April or May 3rd. I will not be home. Um, I don't know what time I'll be home, but I might just post the video then. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys have a good time. Make sure to have fun. And yeah. See you guys later. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. And I'll see you next time. 
I'll see you next time on The Price is Right. No, just kidding. I'll see you next time. Whatever. Goodbye!